getting money during the early game can be pretty slow as you wait for your new farm life to pick up. Here's some early game money tips in Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life. Number 1. Choose which crops to grow carefully. There are only 10 days in a season, and even though most crops grow in multiple seasons, you should be careful to plant them on time during the correct season. And make sure to water them twice a day so they can grow faster. It's good to grow a variety of crops and keep some since you'll need them for requests, recipes, and making hybrid crops. But if you want to dedicate most of your field to a specific crop, I suggest watermelon in spring, you can sell for $1.95. Melon in summer and autumn, you can sell for 210, and potato in winter, you can sell for 180. Number two, you can plant 15 trees in a field. If you are to invest in trees, you can fit 15 trees in your field. You don't have to give them the exact 3x3 space within the field. More trees, more fruits, more money. Number three, turn your tree fruits into seeds. You can get more money from turning a single fruit into two seeds by using the seed maker. You need to befriend Daryl to get the seed maker for free. He likes coins and fossils from the dig site, eggs, and fish. He can give multiple gifts in a day as long as there are different kinds of items. Again, I will say that it's good to have a variety of fruits and keep some for requests, recipes, and making hybrid fruits. But if you want to dedicate most of your field to a specific tree, I suggest banana which sells for $1.40 per seed. Number 4. Befriend your animals as soon as possible. The earlier you get higher friendship with them, the earlier you get higher quality products from them. Don't forget to talk, snuggle, and brush your animals to raise their friendship faster. You can buy the brush from Van, who visits every 3rd and 8th day of the season, for 1000 G. Bring them up to graze on sunny and cloudy days. Don't let them out on rainy and snowy days. You can talk to barn animals and snuggle birds twice a day. Once in the morning and then in the evening. Speaking of doing things twice a day, don't forget to milk your cow twice a day as well. You won't gain any friendship if you talk to a sleeping animal, and do not snuggle or use tools on the sleeping animals. They won't like it. Number 5. Turn your milk into soup. At low friendship with your normal cow, you'll get a low-grade milk which sells for 100. You can turn it into milky soup and sell it to Van for 150. You can get the recipe for milky soup at the bulletin board and check Cordy's request. You can keep turning your milk into soup even if your milk increases grade and sells for 150. Since you will need to keep cooking to increase your cooking skill so you can keep getting new recipes from the harvest sprites, which you can get once per day. Number six, get some sheep. You can buy them for 3,000 each and both male and female give wool. You can get a male and a female sheep so they can breed and you can get more sheep. They give wool every 5 days and basic wool sells for 3,000 and golden wool sells for 6,000. You automatically get clippers when you get your first sheep. Number 7. Check the bulletin board. There's a bulletin board next to the layover inn where you can check for someone's request. You can find new requests every 1st and 6th day of the season. People usually ask for something that is possible to get before its deadline. And they'll reward you with stuff worth more than what you would give them. Number 8. Visit the dig site. If you find yourself with free time after you've done your farm chores, you can talk to Carter and volunteer to help with the digging. You get to keep the artifacts you dig up and you can sell them to Van. There's a chance to get golden forks which are worth 1,000. You can dig every 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. except for the 3rd and 8th day of the season. You should always go for the dig spots with already open soil, especially with the obvious things poking out of the soil. You'll get something right away. When you've gotten something out of all the dig spots with already open soil, you can then just focus digging in one spot. There's a special animal, a chihuahua, that will occasionally appear and roam around the dig site entrance. You'll have boosted luck in digging if this little pup is present. Number 9. Go fishing. If you're done with farm chores and don't want or cannot dig, you can catch some fish. You can buy the fishing rod from Van for 500. The kinds of fish you catch depends on the quality of your fishing rod. So at first, you only catch 4 kinds of fish. You will need to keep fishing so Van can start to sell upgraded versions of the fishing rod. Then you'll be able to catch more varieties of fish. You can fish in the river, waterfall, goddess spring, turtle pond, and beach. There are also special animals that will occasionally appear in areas where you can fish. Having these animals present means boosted luck in fishing at the area they appear in. You can find a raccoon next to the windmills near Vesta's farm, 
which will boost luck in fishing at the river. You can find a lizard near the waterfall, which will boost luck in fishing at the waterfall. You can find an owl at the top of the nature sprite's tree, which will boost luck in fishing at the goddess spring. You can find a turtle near the turtle pond, which will boost luck in fishing at the turtle pond. Number 10, don't forget the forageables. There's lots of things you can pick up off the ground and sell to Van for a bit of money. You don't have to go out of your way to find them, you'll most likely encounter some when going to places. So just pick them up as you go along. It won't take too much of your time. You can also stack up multiples of the same item so you don't need to put them in your bag every time you pick them up. These forage can also be used for recipes or gifts, so you should also keep some. Especially the flowers you can use for fusing with crops. Which are trick blue flower, happy lamp flower, sage soil flower, and upseed flower. And these are some early game money tips in Story of Seasons A Wonderful Life. Do you have some tips you'd like to share? Leave a comment down below, I'd love to learn more. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and you can check out our other videos here. Bye!